everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we have another arteza sponsored video now please do keep in mind that even though these items were sent to me for a review all thoughts and opinions are my very own i will always be honest with you guys as you guys already know so if i don't like it i like it or i don't like it i won't say i like it if i don't if i do like it i'll say i like it you know what i mean either way so Arteza was kind enough to ask again if they could send me out a couple more things to show you guys that they offer on their site for uh, like adult coloring and drawing and art. So I was like, sure, what do you have in mind? So they decided to send me a plethora of things. Now there's quite a few things here and we'll try to get to each one of them separately. So we're going to do this all at once. The first thing I'm going to show you are these twi markers. Now the twi markers are... Well, let me just show you. So these are the twi markers. This is the 48 pack. They're the premium pack. They're unique colors, water-based ink, blendable, compact, ideal for watercolor techniques and journaling. And then on the back here, it shows you all the colors that come in this. Now, again, there are 48 colors in here, so you are getting a pretty decent uh, selection of colors. So we're going to pull it out. So we have your super vibrant pinks and yellows. We have some more pinks and purples. Then we have your blues and greens. And then we have your darker greens, blues, browns, stuff like that. All right. So when you get these markers, they do come in a little tray like this. Now I'm not for keeping them in this tray. I actually ordered another one of the compact, uh, uh, the little bags that the mark, the other markers come in. I ordered another one of those for these markers, uh, just so I don't have to keep them in the plastic. I don't like keeping them in the plastic and this container is a little flimsy. So it's always good to have something else to put your markers and color pencils into. So I don't keep it in this. So when you get them out of the pack, this is what they look like. They look almost like a pen. So they look like a pen. Sorry, I'm bumping you. And then on it, it says Arteza, Twi Marker, Water-Based Ink Blendable, A21, or I'm sorry, A22, A1, oh my goodness, I can't speak today. A122, and it's Concrete Gray. And then on it, it also does have the indicator to tell you which side is which, so you have your, hold on here. You have your brush, or your brush tip's gonna be up here, and then your fine liner is gonna be here. Now, with the twi markers, that's what these are. So you have a fine liner on one side, and then you have a brush tip on the other. So with your twi markers, like I said, these are all the colors that you're going to get with that. Move you around a little bit here. So those are all the colors you're going to get with it. So they also were nice enough to send out this. Now, for those of you who are artists or like to draw or paint or use other mediums and such, um, this is actually 14 sheets of watercolor paper. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's compressed. Uh, double-sided paper, glue bound, so you can pull it out easy. It's 100% cotton, ideal for watercolor techniques and mixed media. So as you can see here, they have a great example on the front. And then it shows you at the bottom here that it's 14 sheets. They're nine, in it, nine inches by 12 inches, 140 pounds. So, and it says they're two-sided. Now, why does it say they're two-sided? All right. So first things first that I noticed, it's glue bound. Now being glue bound means that instead of having to essentially rip it out this way from the binding, and I wanna make sure, cause this is thick paper. I can just simply pull it like this away from the binding and my piece of paper is out. And we're gonna do some swatching. Now this set, does come nope i'm thinking of my other set so this set 
because they're water-based, I pulled out my water pen. Now this water pen you can get with uh, the brush tip pens. So this is my water tip and essentially it has a reverse uh, screw on to it. So it's reverse threaded, but essentially it just releases water. So why is, why would you need something like this? Because if these are water-based inks, and we're going to give you an example here. Let's, we're, we're going to try to Bob Ross it here a little bit. We're going to try to Bob Ross it. Now, remember, I am not an artist in any shape or form. And so, yeah. What I also like is that on the back of this one, it has the brush tip and the nib tip or the fine liner. It says this is Sienna, but it tells you on both sides of it. And it has this cool little pen like. Like, it looks like a regular ballpoint pen top. So. We're just going to make a little square here. Very oblong square. Don't judge the square. Now, keep in mind, I'm not an artist. There are plenty of you out there that are more artsy than me. And then you just take your water pen. And you can essentially paint with it. And I thought that was really cool. Look how rich that color is, even with it having water added to it. And at first, I didn't think I was going to like these because, you know, I'm not an artist. I don't paint. But I'm really learning to like these new mediums and explore them and see exactly what all I can do with them. So we got our tree trunk here. Remember, again, I'm not an artist, so like, don't judge the tree trunk. So that was our brown sienna. And now we're gonna get one of our green colors. I love the fact that these are marked with the colors because, you know, for those folks who have trouble picking out colors, like me, uh, it's always nice to have the color on there. So I'm trying to find a green now, seafoam green. We're gonna go seafoam green. And I like the fact that the brush tip on this is not super soft. It's not like a paintbrush. So let's get you down in the business. So we're just going to kind of fill in this here. We're going to put another one over here. You'll see what the method is to my madness here in a few seconds. And then if you wanted to use the fine liner, that is a really, really fine liner. So that's more like for like putting like little details. We're going to put a vine going down this tree here. I wanted to give you guys a little demonstration so you can see how it works. Because in case you've never used anything like this, like I had it when I first got it. And all I did was squeeze the pen a little bit to release some of the water. Look at that beautiful color coming off of that. Oh my goodness. Gonna make a happy little tree like Bob Ross would say. Now believe me, I'm no Bob Ross. It's a tree for gosh sakes. Okay. 
We're just going to take that color and pull it all over. And again, this is seafoam green. There we go. And do you just see how nice and vibrant that color is? Let's give the little tree a happy face. We can give it a little happy face. Why wouldn't it be happy? It's it's doing its thing. It's growing. Spread that down here. And look how it blends into the tree. Look how it, the green blends into that brown. So they do blend very nicely. All right, so we made a little tree, a little happy tree. All right, so we have our happy little tree. Make sure I can see you showing you. So we have our happy little tree there. He's a crazy little tree. So then this is double sided because, ta da, there's nothing on the back of that. And the teeth on this are made for, because your, your paper. It's not as smooth as, say, like printer paper. So it's going to hold that color in it a little bit better. So it was able to hold the color that even with adding water to it without bleeding onto the back. So I thought that that is amazing. So we have our little tree. And there's our, our twi markers from Arteza. Also, big shout out to Arteza for sending this out to me. Thank you so very much. I absolutely love your products and can't wait to try them all at some point. But for now, we're just going to try the ones we have here. The next thing we're going to try are watercolor pencils. Now, I have never used watercolor color pencils, so I am super excited about this. Now... They sent me the 72 pack of watercolor and then the 72 pack of expert, uh, just regular color pencils. Uh, the expert watercolor pencils are a little bit different than the expert, uh, normal, like wax or oil based pencils. I guess they're wax based. Um, for the simple fact, just looking at them. We're going to bring them up here so you can see them side by side. Just looking at them, you can see a difference in like, oh, no, you can't. Nope. There we go. So you can see a difference. They have the same colors, which is awesome. So we're going to pick these two. Now, the difference you'll be able to tell with the Arteza between their regular color pencil and their watercolor, because you see the little paintbrush? That little paintbrush is going to tell you that that's a watercolor pencil. And then the lack of paintbrush here tells you that this is a regular color pencil. So that and also the paintbrush one has uh, more of a, a pencil-like design and it's not rounded like the regular color pencil. And so we have the color Passion Fruit, which is A050. And then on the Arteza color pencil, we just have Garnet, A072. So, we are actually going to test the watercolor pencils out first, because you guys know how color pencils work. We'll test them out too. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to test out all the things. And of course, we are going to put our ply markers to the side here, so we can show you all the beautiful colors that come in with your watercolors. So these are all the colors you get in the 72 Expert Pack. That's a lot of colors, one. Two, they're just so freaking vibrant. All right, so we're gonna put these off to the side here. We're gonna get our little napkin for our watercolor pen. And we're gonna do a swatch or two. Let's do a swatch or two. I don't know if I'll torture you with drawing anything else, but we can do a swatch. 
So let's see, we're gonna get, and again, the watercolor do tell you what color everything is, which is awesome. Love the fact that they add the color to it. So we're gonna take our burnt, I'm gonna say orc, Maybe we'll draw another tree. If you can't tell, I can sort of draw trees. <laughs> so we're gonna draw a little tree here. And we'll even test it out in a coloring book. I have plenty of coloring books over here off to the side. All right. And it does write a little rough on this paper because of the teeth on the paper. So we're gonna use that color and then we're gonna get, uh, see if we can find like a dark gray. Here we go. Because the whole, you're gonna get, use a pewter. We're gonna put that right here. I don't know why I always have to put that little hole in there because I like squirrels. So like, you know, you gotta put, leave a little hole for the squirrel. And then we're gonna do, let's see. Let's do a basil green. So we're gonna do a basil green. And I will have links for all of these down below. So don't worry. If you decide that you would like to get any of these products, they will all be linked down below. All right. And then we're just gonna kind of connect them here to make a bigger tree. All right. So now with watercolor pencils, just like the twi markers because they're water based up oh, hold on i gotta make sure you can also take water to these just like you did to the twi markers Spread that color out some. And again, I've never used watercolor pencils before. So when I realized that you could do this with them, I was like, oh, game changer. It's almost like using a marker because you can essentially lay down some color and then spread it out and you can blend it a little bit better. So yeah, love that. See, like, look how that brown, again, Zoom you in if we can. There we go. How the brown blends in so nicely with that green. And then we're going to bring it back down this way. Get some of this color. Gonna go around a little hole there. I feel like I'm on Blue's Clues right now. Like that guy used to always draw those weird little pictures. That's me. That's that's my level of drawing. So should put a paw print on it so that you guys know it's a clue. And it's in the tree, so we're gonna we're gonna blend this in with the tree a little bit. And you see how that color just saturates into that little area there. 
And I'm just using a napkin to wipe it off a little bit. And I squeezed the water pen to release some of the water. And again, they do have the water brushes uh, for sale on the Arteza site. This one actually came out of my other 96 pack set of Arteza water-based markers, which you guys will see in a later video. And I'm moving it around in all directions to kind of give it some texture to kind of make it look like, you know, an actual tree and not just hey, look, there's green stuff up here. Like, I'm pretty sure my children will bring me home something like this from school, but you know, I'm proud of it because I did this all by myself. Again, Mr. Coffee's the artist in my house. I'm not the artist. And I just put a drip of water on there. And we're gonna just use it to spread around. We're also going to see if the rest of that is dry because it looks dry already. All right, so we're gonna wipe off our brush and it does come with a cap. And don't worry, because it's water-based, it'll be easy to just wash that off to get the green off there. And the bottom part's already dry. The other little tree we made with the twine markers is dry as well. And then there's our little tree. So that is the 72 expert pack of watercolor pencils from Arteza. They are really, really good. We're gonna put them back in their case here. So whatever level of artistry you are at, whether it's just for adult coloring or what have you, I think these markers would be really good. And matter of fact, we're gonna pull out one of our books. We're not gonna color a whole page, but we'll color a little piece of it. So we're gonna get rid of our trees for a second. We're gonna let it finish drying. All right, so let's try our color picture, or our, to color one of our pictures in our coloring book. So let's go with this one. So let's take and find some colors for her dress. I love how bright the colors are and they just pop right off the page. So we're just gonna color in her little dress here. And they do color pretty smoothly on this paper. This is the Chibi Girls book from uh, Jade Summers. I would also like to say thank you to those who have been supporting me and my channel by using the links that are listed down below for Arteza. So please don't forget that if you would like to order uh, any of the products shown in this video or any products at all from Arteza, you are more than welcome to use the links down below. Uh, also, if you haven't already, you can also use that code CRAFTCROCHET1 to save 10% off your purchase. Do keep in mind, because I am an affiliate with Arteza, I do make a small commission off of anything you will purchase with that link. Just so you know. But all that money, of course, goes right back into my channel so I can bring you more cool stuff just like this. 
So again, thank you to everyone who's been supporting me by using that those links and the code and just watching the videos to see what other cool stuff Arteza has to offer. And believe me, I have more stuff than what they're sending. I've bought a few things on my own. So I will have a video coming out for those later on. So be looking out for those. And this actually colors just like a color pencil. Like I'm shocked. Like I thought it would like, it's almost like coloring with paint. If I had to describe it. Uh, it's not rough. It seems to go onto the paper just fine. Like I'm not having to press down really hard. Uh, I'm just going to get around her fingers here. And I'm not going to do her whole dress. I'm just going to do this piece here because I just want to see how well it would work on paper for coloring since, you know, I'm trying to get my coloring game on. I want to see how it works on colored paper or paper pages that you would color on from a coloring book because, you know, I have tons of coloring books. so I want to be able to use them in my coloring books. And you can use them as a color pencil, as you can see. They are doing just fine here as just a regular color pencil. And this is also, uh, I would think, is a great alternative to having to use Gamsol to smooth the color out. Because then essentially because it's water-based, you can smooth the color out with the water instead of Gamsol. And then we're going to take a darker shade of purple and just kind of give it some shadowing here. We're going to be careful not to burnish because we don't want it to burnish, which if you don't know what burnishing is, it's when you work, you, uh, when you use the color pencil or whatever medium really hard and it leaves or I'm, I'm it's when you press down really hard with your color pencil and you get like a waxy effect on your paper uh it makes it incredibly hard to blend if you, you if you burnish your paper so i don't want to burnish this i just want to put this darker layer here to create shading All right, so we got the two shades of purple there. Now let's get our water brush. Again, I'm gonna wipe it off just to make sure I don't transfer any of that color onto here. I got some water out, so it's just gonna. Essentially, you're just painting with the water. So I'm just gonna use the water to smooth out this color. Before I finish going back over it anymore. Now, I did notice that these pages with the black backs don't. Uh, bleed as often or as much as the other page papers does so but i'm going to protect it from the other paper getting wet so i'm going to put that protective paper in there and as you can see that purple blended in really nicely up there for that crease And this is just, of course, a practice sheet, so like I'm not worried about if I mess it up or if it's not colored perfectly, because you know it's water, so it'll dry. Try not to make her fingers purple. Get that color around there.
it's going to look a little wonky until it dries. So I might have to just insert a picture in after the video is over because I'm not sure how long it's going to take. The other pictures didn't take that long to dry, but I'm not sure how long that's going to take to dry. So yeah, as you see, you got the point of it. It did blend the color in really nicely. Like right here, uh, you see that blended purple in with the dark and the light. Um, sorry, I'm looking for the top of my pen here. So I'm going to wipe it off with my napkin, put the cap back on it. Not that it can dry out because it's just water, but maybe if I dab it a little bit. And as you can see, even dabbing it while it's damp, the color doesn't come off and it's actually almost dry. So yeah, so that is the watercolor pencils from Arteza and that is the 72 Expert Pack. And then the last thing we have here to show you is the, and you'll be able to tell the expert pack from the watercolor from the color pencils because the watercolor pencils will say watercolor pencils. The color pencils will say color pencils. This one has more of a water tone effect on it, whereas this one looks like it has more of a color pencil effect on it. So if you get ones with the yellow and the pink and the purple on it, that is watercolor. If you get the reds and the greens, that is color pencils. All right. That's an easy way to differentiate when you're looking on the website. So yeah. So the Arteza color pencils, as you guys have already seen me do, we're gonna go back to that same page. Again, we're gonna show you the, sh we're gonna showcase all the colors here that come in this one, which I believe are the same ones that come in the other one. So these are the colors that are showcased in the 72 color pencil pack of Arteza. So you have your reds and greens and rainbows here. Your more earthy tones on your second rack. And then these are going to be your muted tones, so to say, on this third rack. Make sure you can see all that. All right. So those are your 72 colors there. Sorry about that, if that noise bothers you. All right, and I don't need the water pan because these are not water colorable or colors. So then you could just say, take one of your pencils. And these to me, they color as smoothly as the watercolor pencils. And this color is purple iris. And it does have the color on there, so that's always nice. So we're just going to fill in this area here. how vibrant this yellow is and I'm barely putting any pressure to this because you know again I don't want to burnish my page And also what helps you to keep from burnishing your pages if you hold your pencil back a little bit it's a lot harder to put all that pressure on your pencil whenever you're uh, holding it back as far as this and there you have it So there you go. Uh -oh. And those are the 72 Arteza color pencils. And then of course, if you would like to smooth out a color pencil, you know you get Gamsol or one of those uh, 
odorless mineral spirits, which is what Gamsol is, and you can just blend that right out if you would like to have a smooth finish like you do with your watercolor. So yeah, that is it, folks. I'm going to get a second here. I'm going to clean this up. So again, thank you to Arteza for sending these out to me to show my subscribers. I do greatly appreciate it. And you guys already know that you can use the links down below. And of course, I will have each one of these items linked separately. But you can use the link, the other link down below if you would like to buy any other art medium. So we have the Arteza 72 packs of the color pencils and then the watercolor. We have the 48 pack of the twi, twi markers. Is it twi markers or twi markers? I want to say twi markers. We're going to put them back in the pack here. If we can. And I have to say, their stuff does travel very well. Um, whenever I get it in shipping, it's, I haven't received anything damaged yet, so that's always good. You have the 14 sheets of watercolor paper that is just compressed paper, uh, the 48 pack of twine markers, and some happy trees. And of course, that is both dry, and if you look on the back, there is no color bleeding through, even with it being wet. So I honestly would have to say that's some really, really good paper. I'm going to play around with this some more because that's awesome. And look how cute my trees are. They're cute trees. So anyway, that's it for me, folks. Sorry if my voice was getting loud and then soft and loud. yeah, it's a whole hot mess. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down at this point. That's all right. Quite all right. Don't care at this point. Either way, if you're not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe to see more random videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell. The bell will notify you anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. With that said, I'm going to bid you guys adieu and say I have I would appreciate it if you guys would go check out Arteza and see if there's anything that you like. And if there is, tell me how you're liking their product so far. So again, thank you so much for watching and happy crafting. Bye guys.